Okay, the proposal review, proposal summary is the culmination of, you know, finalizing all of your selections. So we just added overhead. Now we have some overhead that's not associated with any of the work types. So it's just associated with the proposal. Here we have a specification, the total cost to complete those items is listed. And then if we scroll down further, we can see for each work type, the total costs. Now, if you have multiple specifications that are in the same work type group, so let's suppose you might have two specifications. One is for this color and the other is for that color. Both of those specifications might be the same work type. They're going to be categorized in the same work type table. Now, when the proposal review initially loads, it's going to calculate the required parts for each of the specifications. The proposal summary recalculates and optimizes the parts list based on your uh, selections, and it'll be able to get a little bit uh, more efficient with respect to uh, the required stock materials. Um, you have options. You can supply the materials only, or you can supply the materials with labor. You can go back to the previous step, or you can finalize the proposal. Before you do that, you want to take a look at the recommended margin. That's going to be related to the company's margin schedule. We'll take a quick look at that because it's highly relevant. Um, when a new account is set up, the default margin is 50% and the minimum margin is zero. So the minimum margin really sets the floor on the uh, minimum amount that you'll be able to mark up the proposal. We have a range defined for zero to $10,000. The recommended margin will be 40%. Between 10 and 20, it'll be 35%. So taking a look back at the proposal, we can see for this work type, the cost falls between zero and 10,000, so the recommended margin is 40%. An estimator can update those margins, um, and that's going to change the total value of the proposal accordingly. The estimator is not going to be able to update the margins to less than the company's minimum. Uh, the company uh, could set that wherever they want. But we find that the recommended margins give the estimators a little bit more objective um, guidance with respect to how much a given proposal should be marked up. Uh, but we definitely don't want to take away the flexibility from making decisions based on the project at hand. So uh, the other uh, noteworthy uh, thing that's taking place, sometimes you might get an error and show up at the top of the page that sales tax couldn't be calculated, okay? The um, application will take the project's address. It sends that to a tax server that will look up the applicable sales tax rates for that jurisdiction. Uh, when the application gets back those tax rates, it's going to determine what should be allowed for sales tax based on purchasing all of the materials that have been identified, as well as, you know, if you have any manufacturing labor, uh, sales tax will be applied to that as well. So uh, the sales tax rules are complicated and they vary by jurisdiction. However, we're, we're trying to include that cost as accurately as possible. A quick note about margin. Notice that our overhead 
is a hundred bucks. That's with respect to this work type. And we have we've just previously um, allowed for a 25% mar or 20% margin here rather. So the margin of 25% means that the total proposed price, okay, which is $4,325, it's going to be, change this one to 25 as well so that I don't get myself confused. 25% of this value is this much, supposed to be. Doesn't include the sales tax in in that calculation. So this value includes sales tax, but if we take the sales tax out, then 25% of that value, which is the proposed value, less your direct cost of sales tax, it's going to give you 25% as a margin. So what that means is that a project costing 1800 is going to be sold for 2400 25% of this is the $605. It's a little bit different. It's not the cost times 1.25. It's figured so that you have 25% of the proposed value remaining after the work is complete. Uh, at the same time, if your suppliers are um, supporting bid unity, uh, you know, with optimized pricing, bid unity will be sending the uh, material list to their servers so that they can respond with optimized pricing based on the materials that you require. 